Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. I'm Harun Nizam Tahar. Okay, today I would like to share with you the, the topics on understanding research. Okay, I suppose most of you already defined the proposal entitled to the panels last two weeks or last week, right? Okay, so what's this is? Okay, this, this thesis means the communicating to the readers, especially the examiners. Okay, you see in the uh, thesis, you need to highlight your problem statement, your background study, your objective, methodology and findings for the results. So, as you can see here, okay, there are many obstacles, okay, when you do the thesis. Okay, so the panels, okay, this is the panels, okay, you're going to use this way, so there are many obstacles that you need to face. Okay, what is the proposal? Okay, a good proposal should consist of the three, of, of the first three chapters. Okay, so the first three chapters means, okay, the proposal first chapter means you must have the introduction, you must have the second one, the, the second chapter, uh, literature review, and then the third chapter is the on the recent methodology. So the good proposal should begin with the statement or the problem statement. Okay, the problem statement okay, will derive from the research background. So you need to do a lot of background research, okay, the topics you intend to study. Okay, and then the chapter 2 is about the literature review. Of course, you need to study the previous researchers, what the result, what the methods they have conducted. And then you need to conclude uh, the research methodology okay, after you define or uh, after you read all the literature, then you come out with one methodology in order to solve your problems. Okay, and then the preparations eh, in order to do the thesis or the proposal you need to think about it first okay you think about the ideas and then you need to generate the ideas first you think okay maybe you need to do one application and then you generate the ideas how are you going to conduct the study and then you do the background reading okay when you get the idea then you do the background reading okay what's the status now then you know, okay, all over all over the world, okay, what's the status of the research they're going to conduct. And then you ask yourself, am I familiar with the other research that has been conducted in the area related to my research project? Do I have the clear understanding of the single steps, okay, that you will be conducting my research? And then do I have the ability to go through each step? Okay, this is very important. If you're familiar with the research, okay, and then if you understand but you do not have the ability to go through each step, it's possible to complete the research, okay. And then the structure, okay, for the proposal, of course, you need to have the title and then background of to the problem of study and then you write the problem statement which is derived from the background study and then you state the objective of the research Okay, the objective uh, must be based on the uh, gaps on the problem statement and then the scope and limitation of the study, what you cover, what you did not cover in your study, you need to highlight here and then you write the literature review, how, what you have been read so far, okay, what's the gaps from the previous researchers and then what's the methodology you're going to propose, and then the proposed schedule or known as the gun chart okay you need to plan properly when to complete your study and then significant of the study you need to highlight what significant of your study to some parties and then the references okay so the purpose of research proposal okay of course the objective is to make the reader to understand okay understand on what what are you going to do okay this proposal is very important in order to make sure the panel understand what you're going to do and then rationale of the project and then you state the objective of the project and then you state the methodology of the project okay so the planning so you first you need to review the other thesis before you start to write okay you read the more thesis okay you see the, you read the uh, the previous thesis on the related topics and then look, look at the requirement and formatting okay from the ITM okay this is one you can get from your coordinator 
Dr. Hinan. And then you develop the list of the contents. Okay, this one you need to go discuss with the supervisor. And before you write something, before you try, especially literature review, in chapter 2, you need to discuss in, or you need to plan the table of content or list of the content, what you covered in your literature review. And then it will become a guide in order to you to write in chapter 2. And then set the targets. Okay, so let's say you have uh, five faces. You have five faces in your study. Okay, let's see. Okay, chapter number one, okay, when you target to complete the chapter number one. And then chapter number two and so on. Eh? And then write the main point for the each chapter and sub every chapter must start with the introduction and end of the summary. So you need to find main point of the chapter. Okay, chapter one, two, three, and four, and five. And then you for the chapter two, three, and four, you must begin with the introduction and end with summary. Okay, so each chapter two, three, and four, you must start with the subsection introduction and then end of the chapter by summary. For the chapter five, only have the introduction, no summary because it's the conclusion um, chapter. And then chapter one, you that does not have the introduction and summary subsection. Okay, so the topic, scope of work that you propose, okay, the, the proposal that you propose or the study you propose must have the scope of work should be five times more than your practical or lab, lab exercise in your class. This is very important. Okay, and then the title, okay, the good proposal must have the good title. Okay, it's the first thing that helps the reader begins to understand the nature of work. Okay, it's focus, must be focused must use the keywords and avoid the images or confusing words okay so the first thing that a reader will read is about your title so it must be convincing in order to be go to read your thesis and then the role of a supervisor discuss with the supervisor okay of the content and the main point of the thesis and then ensure a regular meeting with the supervisor okay the first one discuss is only discuss about the content okay so when you get the idea you need to discuss with supervisor first and then ensure a regular meeting with your supervisor you need to ensure regular meetings with supervisor so maybe you can plan about once in two weeks okay or once a week okay depends on your supervisor so make the supervisor to read your thesis chapter by chapter. Okay, when we complete chapter number one or chapter number two, you send it to your supervisor to read. Okay, so make sure your supervisor can read from chapter one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, at least two cycle of the corrections before the thesis is compiled, and then supervisor need to read a thesis as the whole. Okay, first the progress you send by chapter by chapter. And then for the draft, you send as a whole, okay, from chapter, from the title, the cover, title page until the references. Okay, that's the thesis as a whole. Okay, role of supervisor, okay, the supervisor only give a general guidance on drafting the thesis to discuss the main argument and proportions. So a supervisor is not supposed to check the spelling eh, and typing errors, correctness of the data and references and the good English. This is not the rules of the supervisor. So, you after you complete thesis, okay, you need to send out for the professional proof reader. You need to pay something, okay. Or you may ask your friend who are fluent in English, okay, to proofread and offer the constructive criticism. Okay, the role of panels, okay, panels only to evaluate the proposed title. This must be relevant to the MSc. Yeah, MSc GIS, and then to examine the bundle of the work which have been which has which have been done by the student at the end of the semester lah. Okay, and or at the during the paper, and then the role of coordinator. Okay, the coordinator only as uh, act as to coordinate the student progress and or to solve the MIA issue. Okay, miss, missing in action. And then to manage the content formats of the proposal thesis, okay, based on the UITM requirement. Okay, and then understanding research. 
Okay, the understanding research first start with the research process, problem and education. Okay, first you need to know the problem. What's the problem you're going to solve? This is very important. Otherwise, this um, your research did not focus to any problem statement. So then literature review, literature review. Okay, when you already identify the problem. And then you conduct the background study. Okay, you the you do the literature review. Okay, from from the previous researchers, and then the data collection. Okay, you need to propose the data collection, and then the data analysis and report writing. Okay. In the early stage, okay, you as I mentioned before, <coughs> you identify the research problem. Okay, the formulate formulate the aim, formulating the aim. Okay, you identify the research problem, and then. You highlight the aim, okay, what you're going to solve, and then formulate the research objective based on the aim, okay, and then do the literature re review, and then do the experimental design, okay, for research problem, the aim come with, uh, come from the research problem, okay, then objective objective will fulfill the aims, and then the review will fulfill all the objective how to conduct the study and then expert design okay what you propose okay this is a logical structure for the msc of the msc proposal okay you have the research topics and then you have the research problem you have the aim you have two objective at least two objective uh, then you have the research design and methodology so but the literature review will cover okay from the beginning until the end because we need to find okay the appropriate methods or algorithm or techniques in order to solve your problem so we start you, know, you do the literature review from the beginning until the end of your thesis okay the problem statement okay must start with the general statements of the problem or issue okay just start with the general statement okay so you need to highlight what the issue you're going to solve and then make sure the problem is restricted in the scope Okay, so this you, you have made, you need to mention what scope you will cover, and then make sure the context of the problem is clear. Okay, and then the research problems. Okay, there are five ways to formulate the research problem. First, specify the research objective. Okay, in order to scope down your your research uh, problem, and then you need to have first you have you need to have the clear statement of the objective will help you to develop effective research. Two or three clear goals will help. To keep your research project focused and relevant, the goals here means the objective. And then second one, review the environment or context of the research problem. In order to do this, you have to identify the environmental variables. Okay, in your study, there are many variables. Right? There are many variables that involve in your study. Then you need first, you need to identify first the variable. Okay, what in order to solve the problem, and then the third. To explore the nature of the problem, research problem range from the simple to the complex, depending on the number of variable. So you need to understand, okay, the study will be conducted, okay, uh, in which range, okay, simple to complex or the moderate, uh. okay. If you understand the nature of the problem as a researcher, you will be able to better to better develop a solution for the problem, and then you find the variable relationship, okay, studying such as the problem. Uh, studying such a pro process involved, okay, determine which variable affect the solution to the problem, and then determine the degree, okay, to which each variable can be controlled, okay. You need to de determine the functional relationship between the variables, and then during the problem formulation stage, you will want to generate and consider as many causes of action and variable relationship as possible, okay. This is the process you need to define the process. Okay, which variable involved in which step okay and then the fifth okay consequences of the alternative uh, cause of action there are always consequences to any cause of action anticipating and communicating the possible possible outcome of the various cause of the action is primary responsibility in research process okay let's say you have um, trying to solve using this method and then Suddenly, the method cannot be proceed due to the some technical problem. So you need to find the alternative. Eh? You must know every action that we take must have the consequences. Then you must prepare with the.